on this episode of Donald Eats Bulgaria. Beans! Beans. Now in Bulgaria, if you're making beans, first off, you boil the beans. Then you add a delicious sauce made of onions, red pepper, tomato, where you add savory, thyme, spearmint, and maybe salt and pepper. Now the most important thing about beans in Bulgaria is that how you say beans in Bulgaria is bob, which is fantastic because you can just be like, I want bob, give me some bob. Now in Bulgaria, normally when you make a word plural, you add an E on the end. So beans should be bobby, but it's an uncountable word. So instead of saying, I want bobby, you just say, I want bob, which makes me sad every day. Also, they're delicious. Hey guys. So I have several different beans from several different places, and let's find out how delicious they are! Alright guys, this first set of beans is from Babino Cello once again, the wonderful Grandma's Village of Beans. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay guys, these are fantastic. The beans are not overcooked, they're not undercooked, they have that nice texture where there's a little bit of bite to them, they're not falling apart in your mouth, but at the same time they're soft and easily chewable. The sauce is fantastic. If I had to be super, super, super picky about Grandma's Village beans, I'd have to say honestly, the ratio of beans to sauce, it's a little heavy on the sauce, guys. Like personally, if I'm gonna get beans, I don't want like a bean soup, I want beans. Also, side note, they actually didn't have beans, they just had bean soup, so I had to order the bean soup and I'm pretending like it's actual beans. Okay guys, this next set of beans is from a wonderful Bulgarian restaurant chain called Don Vito. I love them, they're fantastic. And as you can see, they put a fat chunk of bacon on top of their beans, so already crushing it. Bravo Don Vito, let's try it. Okay guys, I'll be 100% honest, the actual beans better from Babino Cello. Their texture, their flavor, the use of spices, much more balanced, wonderful flavor. The bacon here sold me guys. The fact that there's a, just a fat chunk of meat on top of their beans, it's almost like, look, we know this shit ain't that good, fuck it, here's some bacon, you're gonna love it, and you're like, yes I am, thank you Don Vito's. Next! All right, guys, our next beans is canned, canned beans, because I couldn't find other beans that were already made to buy. All right, guys, I heated up these beans in my trusty metal mug. Let's get it. Hot! 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 Okay, so mine is that I just burned my tongue. These beans are actually very, very good. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly, how to rank them. Um, part of me, I'll be 100% honest, is precious because they're coming from a jar. And I feel like if you bought them from a restaurant, they should be better. Honestly, though, I, I would rank these maybe the highest right now if I ignore the bacon. These are some fat beans, guys. And Donald likes some fatty beans. So, like, these are these are solid. If you ever find yourself in a supermarket in Bulgaria, go with these. Alright, guys. These are homemade beans, or domajinbab. Now, we soak these beans for 8 to 12 hours, and then we boil them and then change the water several times. Quick pro tip, change the water, guys. The first time I made beans from scratch, I did not change the water. And have you ever farted so hard? It's, it's violent, it's violent. Because if you don't change the water, that's what will happen. Let's try it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Okay, guys. These are better. All right. The spices are more because we added more. So the flavor just comes out that much stronger. The ratio between sauce and beans is perfection. Because I'll admit it, when we're making them, we add too much water, but then you make them yourselves. So you just boil them a little longer and then you get exactly what you want. Now, if I had to make one main improvement to this, I would add a giant fat piece of bacon on top of it. Now, time-wise, these are awful. Guys, you have to soak the beans. You have to boil the beans. You have to change the water several times. You have to make a sauce. You have to put it all together. Beans are actually even better if you do all this, if you let them sit for like a day like chili and let the flavors melt, which we did, which makes them more delicious. But honestly, if you want beans, you're looking at day and a half to two day commitment, and that's just ridiculous. Just go to Don Vito's or Baba Salolo or your local grocery store and get some beans, guys. They're freaking beans. I'm gonna eat all of these. Mm. Mm. Oh, but they are so good. They're so good. All right, guys, there you have it. In ranking of order, we're going to have to go with Babino Cello, too much like soup, followed up very closely by the grocery beans, which were fantastic, but the bacon beats them. But honestly, my beans are the best. Now you know everything there is to know about beans in Bulgaria, guys. You're welcome. Oh, mm. so good. Mm. Mm. Num, num, num. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Love your beautiful faces. If you could do me a favor, smash that like button. And also, if you want to see me eat more stuff, hit subscribe. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao.